Welcome back everybody. Right now we're going to be looking at the Pearson product moment correlation for percent fat using underwater wing, skin fold, and girth. Okay, uh, make sure that you label everything that you're doing. I know I say that about every video, but it's very important so that you can refer back to it. Open up a new sheet and I want you to, in the lab manual, it does say to use 10 subjects and you have to use the same information from all 10 subjects for these three measurements. So you, in other words, you can't use subject MB for percent body fat, subject number one, and then uh, LP for percent uh, skin fold body fat for number one. Okay, so subject number one has to be all three the same, otherwise this won't work, all right? So you wanna set up your columns, put subject in first column, number one through 10, all right? Percent fat underwater for your second column, and go ahead and list all your percent fats for uh, that correspond to the subjects. Then percent fat from the skin fold equations, list those. Finally, percent fat for the from the girth <clears throat> or the circumference, and you have all this all these data in your actual uh, Excel data or Excel sheets, so you should have them easily accessible. And that's one of the reasons that we want to do really good on labeling, okay? Because you're going to refer back to all these different things periodically throughout the lab report. And finally, we have a uh, from girth, okay? So you have all three of those things. If you uh, need to do that, go ahead and pause the video and enter that stuff in. No need to do an average formula for this particular um, correlation, okay? All right, pause it, enter that in, and we are moving on. We're gonna go to the right-hand side for the data analysis using the data analysis tool pack. Go ahead and click on that. All right. We want to go to correlation, just like the last video for the height squared, and, or excuse me, for the reliability, okay? We press OK. Only difference between this video and last video is last video, because we were doing reliability, we were using the average of the first three against the average of the second three, okay? On this one, we're actually doing a correlation with all of our data. So what you want to do is in the input range, highlight all three of these columns. You can leave out subjects, we don't need subjects. So highlight percent fa uh, fat underwater, skin fold, and girth. Make sure all the numbers are encompassed in there. Once you're done highlighting them, it should look like this, okay? Make sure you click on the labels in first row. And again, the output range is just where it's gonna put it, so that's perfectly fine with us. Let's press okay. And there we have it. That is our Pearson product moment correlation for uh, all three of these values. So one way we can look at it is percent fat from underwater correlates with percent fat underwater one. That's a perfect correlation and it should be because it's the same exact thing, okay? But when we go down from percent fat underwater and compare it to percent fat skin folds, okay? That has a correlation of 0.875, which is still fairly good, but it's obvi obviously a lot less uh, than like 0.97. So it's not a perfect correlation. Remember, these data on my sheet are fictional, all right? And then let's go down. Percent fat underwater, when we compare it to per percent fat from girth, it's a, a correlation of 0 0.807. So it's an even lower correlation when we compare underwater to percent fat for girth, okay? And that's pretty much how you go about it. This will be your R value, small r equals and I'll probably do another video that talks a little bit about what these things mean. Okay, that should help you out. I'll talk to you later.